I hear that our women have abandoned their homes in a fabricated frenzy and now run around in the mountains honoring yet another new god with lurid dances. Dionysus or something, whoever that is. I hear they worship sex more than their god. So as many as I could catch are now sitting in the prison with their hands in shackles. But there are more at large whom we shall hunt down from the mountains and overpower with iron nets. We shall put a quick end to this new cult. It's not your job to force women to be chaste. You would sooner persuade me to wage war against the ocean than against this god. If you think otherwise, then you're mentally ill, son, and you will not find a drug other than Dionysus that will cure your disease. Young man, I'll punish Tiresias for polluting your head with delusions. You! Go to his temple, ransack the place, and throw his holy vestments off a cliff. The rest of you, march through the land. Track down the stranger who is at this very moment infecting our women. And if one of you catches him, cuff him and bring him to the palace. Do you dance at night or in the light of day? At night, mostly. Darkness holds the most majesty. Darkness is dangerous and rotten for women. You can find scandalous behavior in broad daylight if that's what you're looking for. You're going to pay the price for your scandalous behavior. And you for your ignorance and insolence toward the god. Well, first, you need a haircut. My hair is sacred. I grow it for the god. Second, You'll hand over that magic wand. That is the staff of Dionysus. Third, I'll lock you up in isolation. The god will free me when I wish. Oh, whenever you call him. Even now he's nearby. He sees what abuses I suffer. As for his women, the ones he brought as his accomplices, either we will sell them off into slavery, or after I have silenced their incessant drum beating, I will keep them as my personal slaves. All this is about power and control. It's whether it be addiction, whether it be domestic violence, whether it be trafficking, these are men and women who lose power and control. Changing values, gender norms are kind of in flux. The play is rel very relevant. These arrogant women think they can insult my intelligence at their free will. No, this goes too far. When females wage war against society and do whatever they please, I order the entire cavalry and infantry to march against our women. But I want to help you win back your women peacefully. If you kill all of the <laughs> peacefully? women... Peacefully? Bring me my sword. I will show them myself how we deal with criminals. What if I said you could spy on them in the hills? Would you like that? <laughs> yes, I, I, I would pay a lot to see that. <laughs> theme of, you know, how threatening it is for this society for women to become the hunters and men to become the hunted. That, you know what, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on over there, but to me it's not the normal. Whatever our women are doing, they shouldn't be doing because that's not what they have ever done. The, the depth of the violence that comes from this king and from this culture with regard to the women being liberated by this god and this foreign god. A strange voice called out from the clouds. Women! I bring you the man who mocks our rights and attacks our religion. Let's show him how we deal with infidels. I have to go. This is too much. The best thing is to be reverent toward the gods and what they represent. Dionysus has destroyed us all. You did not call him a god. Where is my son's body? I think I found most of it. The pieces are in that box. How much of this is my fault? He turned out like the rest of you, an atheist. And so you and he are equally destroyed. But Dionysus did not stop with this. He destroyed the house and me too. If you had remained level-headed and spoken clearly to your grandson, the son of Zeus would still be your friend. I relate with the king because one can be uh, oblivious and negligent to what's around him until, for example, he's seen the women in the hill, on the mountains, doing what they do. That ties into modern day. You could find yourself in, in a Rikers Island bullpen and say, wow, how did I get here? The only person that was like the naysayer or the, the holdout to Dionysus was Pantheus, who was the king and had the most to lose from losing that power. Maybe if the answers come from a place of altruism instead of like losing power, then we can actually talk about uh, prevention instead of criminalization. Thank you, Thank you so much.